जी हाँ अभी आपने देखा प्रमोचन यान का लिफ्ट ऑफ बहुत ही सामान्य तरीके से बढ़ता हुआ और ये गर्जना करता हुआ आकाश में That is PS1. Its total thrust is four 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 thousand eight hundred in kilo newtons. It uses solid propellant, HTPB-based solid propellant, and alongside there are two strap-on boosters. Plus one minute. Screen पर देख पा रहे हैं अब अपने अवमान अवलोकित पथ पर The altitude and the. Abhi range operation director ka ghoshna aaya ki step on separate ho chuka hai. Now you can see the flight events on your screen. Iske kai versions, kai sanrachnaye. हो सकती हैं जिसमें की है पी एस एल वी एक्सएल पी एस एल पी एस एल वी कोर अलोन पी एस एल वी डी एल और पी एस एल वी क्यू एल पी एस एल वी एक्सएल संरचना में छ स्ट्रेप ऑन बूस्टर प्रथम चरण पी एस वन बूस्टर के पी एस वन बूस्टर के साथ संलग्न रहते हैं कोर अलोन में इनमें एक भी स्ट्रेप ऑन नहीं होता सिर्फ पी एस वन बूस्टर अकेला रहता है पी एस एल वी डी एल में We are 45 seconds away from the scheduled launch time. Now the the first stage action time is complete. It has been separated from the ongoing vehicle, and we have seen the confirmation from the range operations director that it has been separated. And you can see on your screens. the flight regime of ps2 payload fairing separated the payload fairing has been separated and yeah. as you have already heard the closed loop guidance has been initiated second stage performance normal abhi abhi rod ne fir se ghoshna ki hai ki ushma kavach ka prithakikaran ho chuka hai ab hamara yaan vayumandal se bahar ja chuka hai The PS2 takes the launch vehicle up to 225 kilometers altitude and increases its relative velocity from 1.6 kilometers per second to 4.3 kilometers per second. Here you can see the time versus relative velocity plot and the flight events. अभी आप एनिमेशन पे देख पा रहे हैं पीएस टू का सामान्य कोर्स इज द लेटेस्ट अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सैटेलाइट दैट हैज सक्सेसफुली बीन लॉन्च्ड बाय इसरो विष्णु शोम जॉइन्स अस विद द वेरी लेटेस्ट विष्णु व्हाट मोर कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट दिस लॉन्च Well, the PSLV launch has been successful, but the satellite is yet to be deployed into its uh, orbit. That should take place in a few moments from now. Uh, this was uh, the 49th launch of the PSLV rocket, which is India's workhorse rocket. The launch today took place in um, in pretty bad weather conditions, uh, high, relatively high winds, and a lot of rainfall as well. So the uh, launch itself was delayed by about five minutes. They then decided to go ahead with the launch, an indicator of the confidence which they have on the system. Uh, so so far everything seems to be progressing well. Within the next couple of minutes, uh, the payload itself, the primary payload being um, an imaging satellite, will be released into its orbit, along with uh, I believe nine uh, separate payloads. In fact, that's something that should be happening uh, right now. Just be with me for a moment. I'll just update you. Okay, so this is the PS3, the engine, the third stage engine uh, of uh, the rocket has been successfully fired, uh, and um, the payload, which is the satellite, all the satellites on board, the primary one being the EOS one, the Earth Observation Satellite one, uh, which is an Indian high, uh, very high, highly advanced satellite, uh, that's reaching its uh, its orbit where it will be deployed. Still attached to the final stage of the rocket, it will then be. 
deployed. It will separate along with a, a number of co-passenger smaller satellites, which are essentially um, educational satellites and scientific satellites from a host of countries. So this process is going quite smoothly now. The EOS-1 satellite, uh, which uh, has been, which is part of this mission, the key, the key reason for this mission, is very important because it has a lot of military applications as well. It can ensure that any part that the Indian military wants observed a day in, day or night in, in uh, foggy conditions or in cloudy conditions uh, can be um, uh, observed using very high definition imagery uh, through radar imaging and an X-band uh, radar. So it's uh, quite advanced and it's part of a constellation of three satellites of this type uh, which can be used for several purposes. They don't want to talk very much about the military aspects of it, but that's very clearly possibly the primary reason. But at this stage, uh, we haven't uh, reached that stage of satellite separation from the uh, rocket itself. Uh, that should take place, I think, within the next uh, one or two minutes. And at the moment, uh, you know, it seems to be going well. I should mention this is the first launch of, uh, from, uh, by ISRO from its own facilities in almost a year. COVID hit ISRO quite badly. Uh, and several several launches which were planned have been delayed, but they'll get on back. They'll get back. Lots of interesting launches this year, um, including a. Just stand by. Oh. All right. So the PS3, the rocket has done its job. Um, it's, it seems to have operated exactly right. It's now coasting in uh, space, and uh, very soon should be releasing uh, its payload. So the uh, the. The end of this mission should uh, be uh, on us very soon. Let's hope that all these RAS satellites are launched in their proper, uh, are released in their proper orbit. And then the satellites, of course, would have their own engines to get to their perfect orbit, so test their systems, and then start transmitting. So, um, again, lots of interesting missions planned by ISRO this year. There's a mission called Aditya, uh, which is a mission uh, to observe the star, uh, to observe the, um, the sun. Then, of course, there is uh, Chandrayaan, which is planned once again to get uh, that lander finally down on the surface of the moon. Remember last time around, that didn't work out. Uh, and, of course, um, um, an unmanned Gaganyaan mission. Gaganyaan is a planned uh, manned uh, Indian space uh, mission, manned, uh, but uh, they, we need to have some uh, missions without any humans on board prior to that as tests, so that's expected to take place as well. So at the moment, uh, Rishika, this is going smoothly. And in the next couple of minutes, uh, one would assume that the uh, satellites would be released successfully as well.